Every once in a while on this channel, I like to share modules for Drupal that you may or may not have heard of before. And in this video, I've got a really good one. Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the Add to Any module for Drupal. It's an awesome little module that adds social sharing to virtually any part of your Drupal website. Let's take a look. I'm at drupal.org slash project slash add to any. And as you can see, it's add to any share buttons. It's really simple. You can have a universal button or you can have just the icons of your choice or both. And it's like any other module in Drupal, it's easy to install and easy to configure. It's been around forever, and there is a version for Drupal 8 and 9, last updated March 24th, 2021. Well, I've already gone ahead and installed it, and if I open up the information and click on Configure, it takes me over to the configuration screen where I can set up the button size, I can define what service buttons I want to use, I can say yes or no to a universal button. I don't tend to like this. I'll leave it on for now and show you what it looks like. And then any other additional options like JavaScript, CSS, and which entities I want to allow the add to any buttons to appear on. Personally, I'm just gonna go right now with content. By default, comments and media are also turned on. I'm gonna click Save Configuration. And then I'm going to go to Structure, Content Types, Article, and Manage the Display. Now, I have default full content RSS and teaser display modes turned on. By default, Add to Any is going to show up here under Default. But if I look at full content, Add to Any is going to be disabled. So I'm going to drag that up above the links and comments and click Save. You'll note there's really no settings here for that as well. By default, it's also enabled in Teaser, so I'm going to click and drag it down to Disabled and click Save. All right, let's go take a look at our node. And I'm over here on the article content type. I've added some images and some media in previous tutorials. But now here at the bottom is my Add to Any. And if I hover on the universal icon, it does this little pop-up window. I'm not terribly a fan of that, so I'm likely to actually turn that off and just go with my icons of choice. When I click on one, it opens up a sharing window. And if I'm logged into the service, well, it sets me up. So it doesn't get much simpler than that. You install the module, you configure the module, and it just works. The icons can be any color, any option, any style that you want, and it looks terrific and works as advertised. Well, thanks for joining me today. This is OS Tips from OS Training. My name is Rod Martin. We release a new video every week. We'd love to see you back next week. So go ahead and subscribe. Click that bell icon to be notified. And we'll see you next time.